Hello everyone. Uh, I decided to uh, try out the Gnome Shell Classic. Uh, I think it's I think it's developed by the Ubuntu Gnome team. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, please correct me on that if you know. Uh, so this is the so far the vision of the classic shell, where you have a top and a bottom panel, as you can see. Uh, we have applications, and yes, that gets in the way. Uh, applications and places menu. Okay, uh, we'll look at applications menu. It's kind of like a, a menu. Uh, personally, I prefer the uh, ones with the pointer menu, but that's okay. Just a mouse wheel through. I guess it's similar to what um, KDE in a way. And uh, a little bit of redundancy activities overview, um, which is this. And you notice it doesn't say all or frequent or anything. And uh, so, speaking of which, if you want to install that, uh, here's my Alt tab button there. There it is. Um, after you install it, I do a reboot of everything, and then when you log in, so this is basically what the login screen looks like. You might have a picture here. Uh, as you click on this session button here, and it drops down System Default GNOME or GNOME Classic. This box is a little smaller actually. So you hit GNOME Classic and then sign in. And you'll have that. Uh, so applications, places is back, so your home, documents, downloads, etc. You can add bookmarks like you could. I'm not sure about the spacing here. I don't know if that's intentional or just because it's in development. I don't know. Uh, but it's this again. It's use you know use at your own risk. Risk yeah. and you know beware. Uh, things break or can break. How's that? So this is the home folder. It looks exactly like the one in no basic or no default. Uh, the only thing sort of different, different obviously, is at the bottom. Uh, I can zoom in here. I miss my comp is though. I really do. Is if you look here, yeah, now I'll make that obvious. Is this home or whatever window you have open? You can just click to minimize it from there or maximize. So, if you like that sort of thing, at least that's back. No functionality right click that I can no, that I can tell. I did try the window super, whatever, and the alt key and nothing happens. Um, only time anything. If I right click or left click on any anything here, say Firefox, it'll just launch the program. And can you close? No, you can't even close from there. So you have to re bring it back up and close. And right click on the desktop is back to the basic Ubuntu uh, way of doing things. I, I added in open terminal and I added in new document. Other than that, it's just basically the same. Uh, maybe the reason is the right click doesn't work is because of the extensions the, that you get off GNOME shell extensions, the .org site, do work. As you can see, the and the calendar is over on the right, um, where it would be in a regular Ubuntu install, Ubuntu Unity type of install. And clock is I'm not clock uh, time. Okay, one more time. The weather uh, is in the middle, but you can change that through the extensions properties. And uh, notifications. Uh, you do something like I'll zoom in here. Notify and a dash send and then whatever two single quotes and arrow back and say test. And I'll zoom back out. You notice that a notification will come up at the bottom. So look at the bottom of the screen when I press enter. There it is. Test. And uh I think that's it for this one, and uh, any comments or questions, just add them, and thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye for now.